The sentencing brings to an end a prosecution process that started in June last year when Samuel Wanyaka, who was then the director of the budget office at Parliament, appeared before the anti-corruption court. Wanyaka appeared at the court at 9 a.m. He is accused of misappropriating 822 million 965,000 shillings between August 2012 and December 2013. For this, he was charged with embezzlement, abuse of office and false accounting. During the hearing, his lawyers asked for a lenient sentence, arguing that he was a fast offender and acted without premeditation. They also said he was frail with diabetes and high blood pressure, besides having young children to take care of. However, prosecution asked for a harsh sentence saying he committed a crime on several occasions, well aware of the responsibility and trust put in him to manage public funds. Prosecution argued that vast sums of money that should have been used for public good was lost. State lawyers also said the abuse tainted the public's perception of public servants. A deterrent sentence, the state insisted, would make the public know that crime doesn't pay. Justice Mogamba sentenced him to 10 years for embezzlement five years for abuse of office, and two years for false accounting. He will serve the jail terms concurrently. The court also ordered Wanyaka to refund the money. He has also been barred from working in the public service for 10 years under Section 46 of the Anti-Corruption Act. The sentence surprised many in the court hall and some of his relatives. His lawyers reacted cautiously to the media after Justice Mogamba warned lawyers against commenting on court decisions. We're going to appeal. Like, so when would that be? Uh, as soon as possible. For now, Wanyaka heads to Luzira prisons as he awaits for his lawyer to appeal the verdict. Moses Akena, NTV.